Hmm. You can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani-sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Care to join me, Terasawa-san? What do you got to lose? It was a joke! So from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. So, was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Well, of course that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? Sure. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. All right, here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku, male, age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess burying Waku's body out in the mountains. And lo and behold, three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause of death was most likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. Any objections to this so far, Yagami-sensei? Actually, yeah. You're forgetting something. And what's that? Okubo-kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. Oh, sure. But come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault, and it's on record. Roughed up his girlfriend, accidentally broke her finger. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid. Got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what? It's okay for a kid to hit a woman? Of course not. But that's not what he's on trial for. True. I don't condone what he did. But legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. Fine. But what about Okubo's shaky alibi? He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. <laughs> We're meeting with Okubo after this, right? You should just be honest with him. Tell him the case is unwinnable. Are you two done here? Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okubo-kun parked his truck. The service entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. <laughs> 